people like Tim and Kathy and Austin Millard uh, who bought tickets in support of this uh, fundraiser, the proceeds of which are going to help so many who have done so much for the cause of freedom, for our great nation, and for every one of us. It's hard to do too much for people that have made the kind of sacrifices that our wounded veterans and their families made on behalf of all of us. I'd also like to mention uh, Colonel John Folson and Jennifer who are here from the Wounded Warrior Foundation and Craig Tillman, the commander of American Legion Ford Post 173. Thank you all for coming and thank you to all of those who bought tickets and support uh, the charities that have been mentioned today. We promise you we're going to do the very best that we can to put those dollars to work taking care of wounded veterans and their families, meeting their needs and taking care of those who have done so much, many of whom might be in harm's way, even as we're enjoying this great day together today. Thank you all, Semper Fi, God bless. I'm Dr. Jack Elder, I'm with the Vodakuti Urology Institute at the Henry Ford Health System. The, the Vodakuti Urology Institute is, is the Department of Urology the chair, I'm the chief of urology. Our chairman is Dr. Money Menon, who uh, came to the Henry Ford Health System in 1998 from the University of Massachusetts. And uh, Dr. Menon has developed the world's leading robotic surgery program for men's health and, and primarily for prostate cancer. Many of you uh, may have read recently about new guidelines for eliminating PSA screening. Dr. Men and I trained at Johns Hopkins and finished around 1980. And um, uh, at that time, I, when men were diagnosed with prostate cancer, 40% already had metastatic disease to the, to the spine or to their lungs, and another 40% had advanced prostate cancer. That's, that's very rare these days with early screening. So we are still... Uh, uh, in favor of, uh, of doing the screening and uh, you'll you'll hear more about this in, in the in the years ahead but uh, but we do have a strong commitment to men's health I've ca I came in 2007 I do pediatric urology and I developed a uh, robotic program for children dr. Craig Rogers came in 2007 from Johns Hopkins and has the we have the largest robotic kidney surgery program in the in the world and uh, we also have a commitment to uh, men's and women's health worldwide. Two of our faculty, Dr. Jim Peabody and Humphrey Atimo, go to Africa every year to do uh, to take care of complications of, uh, that occur in women following uh, difficult uh, childbirth. Recently, we've uh, developed a new men's health center at Henry Ford West Bloomfield Hospital. Uh, Dr. Ali Debaja, who is one of our, who is a, a chief resident who just finished, uh, is doing a two-year fellowship at Cornell uh, Hospital in uh, in New York, and will be coming back to to run that program. And he'll be at Henry Ford Hospital at, in Detroit, here at, uh, in Dearborn, and also at West Bloomfield. So we uh, we're very appreciative of the uh, the foundation's uh, generous funding for uh, the Vodakuti Urology Institute at Henry, Ford West, at Henry Ford Health System. Thank you. Just to follow Dr. Elder, I'm Sandy Hudson. I'm Chief Development Officer for Henry Ford Hospital downtown. And I can tell you it's such a pleasure to be a part of this program. Uh, Mark and Pat and the uh, World Cause Foundation, they are tremendous individuals with huge hearts. And the second I learned about it, uh, I said we have to be a part of this program because it, its reach is national and its, uh, its charitable initiatives are first class and so this does a great deal for Henry Ford Health System in furthering our cause to raise uh, awareness amongst men for all of the diseases that they uh, are inflicted with but uh, primarily through the Vatacuti Urology Institute prostate cancer so uh, again a thank you to Mark and Pat and to Robert for this generous gift, and we look forward to being part of it in the future. Thank you.